Now, this stock had surged more than 50% year to date heading into this print. Now, of course, uh, heading lower here in the after hours. Checked in with uh, Matthew Bryson of Wedbush. He covers Micron as a hold on the name. Uh, print was fine, in his words, uh, but the Q1 profit guide was disappointing. Uh, investors, he says, wanted to see gross margins stabilized. They are still coming down. Uh, yes, this is a company that does um, traditionally guide conservatively, he says, but investors were, were looking for more. CEO Sanjay Marotra uh, talking about signs of improving industry demand. Demand, uh, but then also talked about what he called a near term macroeconomic and trade uncertainties. Uh, what he said about one customer in particular, Huawei, was, was interesting and how that uncertainty uh, with Huawei is impacting his business. Take a listen to that. We have applied for licenses with the Department of Commerce that would allow us to ship additional products, but there have been no decisions on licenses to date. <coughs> We see ongoing uncertainty surrounding U.S.-China trade negotiations. If the entity list restrictions against Huawei continue and we are unable to get licenses, we could see a worsening decline in our sales to Huawei over the coming quarters. Uh, now, executives did talk about some of their end markets, too. They talked about mobile. They said their company is still well positioned uh, to capitalize as 5G accelerates in 2020. But investors clearly not taking a lot of confidence in that. Uh, CEO uh, Sanjay Marocha will be on CNBC uh, tomorrow morning talking about this report, uh, the trends he's seeing in the macro and trade tension. So be sure to uh, stay tuned for that one. Guys, back to you. All right, Josh. Thanks, Josh Lipton in San Francisco. This is one you were watching yesterday, Dan. Yeah, so, you know, this one's interesting, right? So people are worried about that uh, uncertainty about trade, but really um, the gross margin um, decline. I think that's something that, you know, you'll see in this site, in uncertain sort of market where their OEMs are just going to squeeze them a little bit. And that's what's probably going on right here. But to Josh's point, the stock was up 53, 4% into the print. It's rallied 20% in just the last month. So down 6.5% on murky guidance that could get better if there was a trade deal, the stock probably works back to those levels on any If you look at DRAM chart, NAND yeah. chart, they all ran up in 2018. Mm -hmm. So customers got ahead and bought DRAM, bought NAND when it was expensive. And then you see it fall off a cliff. It's, it's not about Huawei. This is about DRAM. This is about NAND. This is about supply. This is about demand. And I don't think any, anything is a tailwind right now for them. Do you think that uh, the, all will be down tomorrow, right? The whole sector will be down. But do you think the bar is then lowered? And there are others who could oh, jump for over. For the rest of earnings season. Yeah. yeah, eventually. But if you, if you truly look at you saw NAND pop a little bit this year. And the stock, Micron, bounced. And then you see NAND flatten off. And DRAM is still in, in the toilet. So the stock should actually be down there, too. Based on the fundamentals, you should not be buying the space, period. I, I think we just needed to see confirmation that the recovery has begun, and this didn't give you that. And, and I think a lot of people were waiting for that out of these guys, in addition to the gross margin that Dan talked yeah, And we've seen this over the last couple of months. We saw Broadcom give kind of guidance that was not particularly great, um, and that stock has kind of been stuck. If you look at Intel, has given some murky guidance. That was a couple months ago, but that stock is stuck in its 18-month range. Um, interestingly, I think the one you want to watch here is Texas Instruments. They're the one who's been telling us um, throughout this year where they are in the downturn of the cycle, and I think a lot of investors think they're probably one or at most two They've quarters very sober. from the end yeah. of this downturn. Um, you know, that thing broke out above 120, and I think you could probably trade it on the long side against 120, but if they guide down, the whole space is going down uh, because it's just, you know, I mean, I think to Steve's point, I think there was a lot of double ordering in front of what could have been these later tariffs. Right.